Hi everybody, Rob here again at the Department of Education at uh, Cape Breton University. Uh, in this final video in our series of videos on rapidly uh, converting our courses over for six-week delivery for the upcoming accelerated six-week uh, BED uh, course format uh, for our online courses, I'm going to take a look at getting our Teams space ready for our live meetings. Now, if you'll recall from a previous video, I had copied over my course content in Moodle and set it all up uh, in a six week format instead of 12 weeks. And to save time, instead of creating a brand new team space, I decided to keep my existing team space with the uh, join code that had previously been set up for it. It's the quickest and easiest way to do this. But in order to get this uh, team space ready for my students for the upcoming term, I need to do a little bit of cleanup uh, first in Teams. So I have my Teams space open here right now. And I had reused this again for fall 2023. It was originally for fall 2024. So I need to do a little bit of cleaning up here and getting it ready for my, uh, for my students. So what I'm going to do, um, the benefit of, of keeping this space, by the way, is that you don't need to set up all of this stuff uh, again that you had previously shared with your students. You can leave it all in here and uh, it's ready to go for you to use when you're running your live classes. Uh, you also don't need to set up that join code again. All of that's ready to go. But before I make any changes to this space, what I want to do is make sure that I have removed all of my students from a previous term. Otherwise, they're going to get a bunch of notifications about changes to the team space, which will be annoying for them now that the course is over. And uh, I don't want them in the new team space with my new students, obviously, for privacy reasons and, and uh, to keep things simpler for everybody. So I'm going to go to the three dots here next to my team name, and I'm going to go to Manage Team. The next thing I'm going to do is make sure that I have no members or guests in here. So if you have former students, just go to each one. There'll be three dots uh, or there'll be a drop down next to the name and you just remove them all from the course before you use this space again. Once all your students are removed, you can go and uh, do whatever changes you want. So I'm going to go to manage team here. I'm going to go to settings and I want to change the name of this team. Uh, so I'm going to click on edit team here. I'm going to change this from fall 2023 to winter 2024. Update. Now it's changed my picture on me, so I could change that again if I want. So I'm going to go to manage team again. And I'm going to pick myself uh, a picture that I want. So uh, I'm going to edit this team here again and find a picture for myself. If I don't have one here that I like, I can upload one. So I will do that. I'll just click on upload and I'll go to uh, wherever I have my pictures stored. So I have that under my documents here and I'll just upload that picture. And this will be under my icons. I can find any picture that I want that I like. So I'll find a nice one here. This one should do. Update that. And I can remove all of my old teams that I have, uh, or my old channels that I have in here and set up new channels as I need to. For the group activities,
And the last thing that I want to do, uh, once I have all of that configured, I'm just going to go to the manage team area again. I'm going to check on the settings here. I want to check on my team code, 512XHDZ. Yours will be different. I'm going to double check in Moodle, make sure that the join code is still the same. It is. My team space is now ready to go and share with my students. The last thing that I need to do in here is set up my recurring class sessions. Uh, so I'm going to go to uh, my calendar area in Teams. I'm going to double check what I had put in Moodle for my class times. So hypothetically, we're going to go from Mondays to uh, Mondays and Wednesdays from 9:30 to 11:30. We'll say that's our hypothetical time. And the course starts on the 8th of January, and it runs all the way up until week six, which will be the 18th of February. Okay, so I will go to January in here. And I'm going to go to January the 8th. And I'm going to set up uh, my new meetings. So I'm going to uh, schedule a new recurring meeting. And this will be my EDUC 4108 uh, Winter 24 class sessions. Under my uh, required attendees, I don't need to add anything, but under my channel, I'm going to find my winter 2024 course and add the general channel. And now I'm going to set up my times. So this will be from 9.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. And under my repeating, I will do custom and I will set this for once per week on Mondays and Wednesdays. And I will end it by the 18th of February. So it starts on the 8th of, uh, 8th of January, ends on the 18th of February, Mondays and Wednesdays. I will save that. I don't want to set up separate meeting requests for each one of the classes. That causes a lot of confusion for your students. Uh, we found in the past that students end up going to the pa uh, a link for a past meeting and you wind up with students in all kinds of different meeting rooms. You want to set up one recurring meeting so that there's just one link. Once students get added to your team space, either by using the join code or you add them yourself manually, the meeting request will show up in their Outlook calendar and in their Teams calendar. It will be the same link the whole way through. Everyone will have access to it and they'll all wind up in the correct meeting room every time you have a live class.